Well, remember the Beetle? It's back with a new twist as VW works to dramatically increase their sales here in the U.S. and also dramatically abroad. Jonathan Browning is the president and CEO of Volkswagen America, joins us now. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. That's my pleasure, Poppy. So the VW Beetle, the new one, arrives at dealerships today. We see a red one behind you. This is the third generation of, of an automobile that we have known for 60 years now. I know that you guys took a more masculine approach in this one. Talk, talk to me about what that means and who you expect your buyers are going to be. Yeah, we'll certainly we'll be happy to do so. You know, the Beetle really does represent the Volkswagen brand, especially here in the U.S. Every, everybody seems to have their own Beetle story. And so you know, we wanted to make sure that Beetle really is accessible to everybody in the marketplace. And so we wanted to bring a, a more sporty, more uh, dynamic design to this generation. And so what you see with this vehicle is it's slightly wider, which helps the handling, slightly longer, slightly lower roof line. And so overall, the vehicle looks very dynamic, even when it's standing still. Do we have a price tag on it yet? Sure, you can actually uh, acquire one vehicle that uh, is at an entry price just below $19,000. So VW has very aggressive sales goals uh, in the next few years. We talked about it in Detroit at the Auto Show in January. By 2018, you guys have a goal of selling a million vehicles annually in the U.S., 10 million globally. So it's a big step up from where you are now. But you've also, Jonathan, corrected people who have said that VW wants to be the biggest car company in the world. Clarify for us what you mean. What does VW want to become? Yeah, we, we've got a very clear vision on a global basis. We want to become the leader in the automotive industry. So there are a number of dimensions uh, with respect to what leadership means in our mind. It means a leader in quality and customer satisfaction, it means a leading employer, top employer globally, but it also means leading financial performance and on a global basis, 10 million unit sales. Let's talk about prices. Uh, one of the things that VW has done in order to try to dramatically increase market share is, is to cut prices and cut them pretty significantly on some well-known models. I'm wondering, Jonathan, are you taking a cut uh, and taking a hit on the margins? Are you cutting down on quality? How are you getting that price lower and, and, and still maintaining where VW wants to be? Well, a good question. I mean, it's all part of a, a comprehensive plan, which has to do with both the sourcing of our product, the sourcing of the components that go into the product, where we manufacture the vehicle, as well as how we position vehicles in the marketplace. So, for example, with Jetta that we launched last year, we uh, reduced the entry price so more people could uh, afford a Jetta, but we actually kept the rest of the line up very much where it was in the marketplace. You told me when we, when we spoke earlier this year that the United States is a great place to manufacture. VW put its money where its mouth is and invested a billion dollars in a plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee that manufactures the Passat. I'm wondering if VW is planning to really scale that up, not only in, in Chattanooga, but possibly invest billions more in this country to build new plants and, and hire a lot more American workers. Well, first for things first, obviously we have to make a success of the Passat and the phase of growth that we've already got uh, in terms of the capacity in the plant in Chattanooga. Uh, you saw it for yourself. We've put in place really a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Chattanooga. And what we've done is put in place an infrastructure that can grow over a couple of stages mm -hmm. if we're successful, if we make the next phase of investment. So this first phase of 150,000 is a very important step, but it is that first phase. We can grow within the existing footprint of the plant to over 200,000 capacity, and then we have a big enough site where we can double that plant again. So uh, we have plenty of scope for growth if we execute each of the steps very well. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Poppy.